What is up, everyone? Today I have two crazy games for you. One of them against a super aggressive player, in another game which is a super intense late game. So without further ado, let's get it! Alright, here we go, guys. We are against Mr. Great Monkey 919 on the map Sans Time with the strategy DJ Benjamin Farm Dartling and Spike Factory today. Yes, sir. I love um the Dartling Farm strategies. I'm trying out Spike Factory today. This is what my boy Boltrix has been using, so it's gonna be a fun one. It is going to be a fun one, alright. So let's start with my Dartling down here. Mr. DB is goaded, and yeah, looks like my opponent is starting with a Ninja, so um, that is pretty cool right there. The Ninja is not really a good starting tower most of the time, so we'll see how they de end up dealing with my group balloon sins, because the Ninja lacks a lot of like pierce, and early on you're facing a lot of group balloons, so you kind of need that pierce, you know what I'm saying? So we'll see what they do. They end up getting the double shot. All right, all right, all right. Hopefully, we'll get our DJ Benjamin on round two. And by the way, guys, if my voice does sound like a little bit raspy right now, I am sorry. Um, I was at a track meet yesterday, so I was like spit screaming at people, you know. So that what is why my voice might sound a little bit different today. I apologize about that. But let's get my boy DJ Benjamin down. Yes, sir. He is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. He is grooving. Look at that with his little hands right there playing those beatboxes you already know boys you already know all right we'll such the blue balloons here they actually are not sending me eco what is going on with on my opponent's side they keep like stopping eco that's not good boys you want to be constant ecoing throughout the entire early game so i don't know looks like they got benjamin down though cool 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 awesome we'll get my um farm down here in a little bit because i don't need to actually upgrade my dartling since he's waited so long to send me so i'll just get that down if he didn't wait so long to send me, I would have had to upgrade my Darling, but you know. And they got Alchemist too, okay. Ninja Alchemist Benjamin, definitely a um, solid strategy right there. I guess, I don't know what the last tower is, but it might be like Sniper or something, but Ninja Alchemist is a good combination right there, so. At least they got something right. Mr. Great Monkey 919 has got something going right on their side. Alright, let's upgrade this to um, Faster Barrel Spin now. Yes, sir. And the good thing is, um, against White Balloons next round, I can actually defend like a solid... A solid group of them without getting up my powerful darts because I can just use the bit DJ Benjamin ability, which will kind of shred them. So that'll buy me some time to build up more farms, if that makes sense. But again, this guy just like he just waits to send balloons. I don't get it. They're like kind of slow on sending the balloons. But he has to use that ability, and that should handle some um some of these enough so I can get that greater production. I think. Oh, we actually stopped sending in a little bit. All right, and then I would just save up for this powerful darts right there beautiful cool cool cool. yeah i've done a really good job greeting so far i think i've done a pretty fantastic job greeting now what's the plan with spike factory the spike factory is very different from ninja in the fact that um it's not a stall it kind of holds the same similar purposes of helping out against mob class balloons and like ddt's and stuff but i think zomg defense in particular are going to be a lot harder with spike factory because you'll just need to spam spike storms left and right instead of just getting up like a a Sabo and like a Sticky Bomb and just like chilling, you know? So we'll see how this goes. Late game though, I think will be pretty solid. If I have a lot of money, I can just spam Spike Storms all over the place. So I think late game's actually gonna be pretty good here with the Spike Factory, but the mid game might be a little bit harder than with Ninja. We'll keep spamming farms though. We'll get one up here. Okay, sending me some yellows. Let's use the DJ Benjamin ability just to clear those out a little bit. I'm gonna also get another Dartling down. Beautiful. That should be fine, I think. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Dude, the Benjamin ability is so useful just defending these rushes. And you get it back so quickly that it's like, you know, it's not really too much of a um impact of using it if you even if it was used at a bad point. There's not too much of an effect. Okay, send me some region zebras. Look at this. I have the DJ Benjamin ability again. So we should be good. Oh, boost. I don't know if I need to boost that in all honesty. I got kind of scared. Alright, let's just sell a farm. Dude, this lag right now. I sold the farm and stuff, and it still takes like 10 seconds for me to upgrade my Dartling. Oh my gosh. I hate it when the game lags. I really do. Okay, we're good though. We're good. Hopefully we can get our round 12 monkey bank. That's really what I just want. Round 12 Monkey Bank is solid for setting me up for late game. Alright, get that up. Beautiful. And DJ Benjamin does buff your bank, so we'll fill up a little bit faster. It looks like they got their Balloon Jitsu with Alk buff, so there's no point to rush them. We'll equal to about 1k here. If he region rainbow rushes me, I can just DJ Benjamin. That should defend. 
Yeah, that defends pretty well. Awesome. He's re-rushing me. Let's just boost this. We should be fine here on boost. He didn't send that many, and he sent them like in two clumps instead of one big clump. So, yeah, we're totally fine there. And then if he rushes again, I have DJ Benjamin ability again. This dude, this is so... It comes back so fast, I'm telling you, boys. See, look, I can just DJ Benjamin this again. That's so that's so OP, dude. That's literally so OP. It's it's disgusting. He th sent three region rainbow rushes. I didn't have to rocket storm a single one. Okay, we'll start saving up for my central market now. Let's actually get the one K eco that I said I was gonna get. Um, this is a small region rainbow rush. I think I can just do this without. I got the bean Benjamin ability again for that one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't even know if I needed to use it there, but that's crazy. Alright, let's um get up a spike factory right here to help with the Moab. We'll just boost. I'm dead, aren't I? No, I'm good actually. Oh wow, I can't believe I almost choked that. I thought the boost would have been good to defend the region rainbows, but um, dude, wow, okay. I need to be careful. I need to be careful now. This guy just keeps sending region rainbows nonstop. They literally sent like 10 region rainbow rushes. So I guess it's like inevitable that I might choke to one, you know? We'll see how this goes. Okay. He's sending me another rush. That's um, Benjamin ability this. We should be fine because the spike factory can clear out the Moabs. Yep, they just continue the crazy. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna all out them with Moabs at this point. They've aggroed way too much for my liking, so I'm just gonna send them a million and a half Moabs here. Literally, literally a billion Moabs. And we'll send them some um, purples behind it, just to layer over. We'll use party monkeys for that. Region Rainbow Rush, and they are dead. GG's, I'll catch y'all next game. Dude, that guy's aggro was literally unmatched. All right, guys, my second game here is against Mr. Laser on mobile, and it is on the map in the wall with the strategy DJ Benjamin, Village, Tax Shooter, and Ice. It's going to be a fun one, boys. It's going to be a fun one. It's my favorite um, eco strategy in the game, so we'll see how this goes. Can start with my Tax Shooter right here, obviously. He is crying at me. I don't know why. It's all good, though. Looks like they're starting with their dart, uh, Dartling Gunner. Cool, cool, cool. And yeah, hopefully we do not leak. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter if we leak too much because we have Benjamin. I forgot about that. With Benjamin, um, the thing is, like, leaks don't really matter since it rejuvenates lives throughout the game. So it's kind of like a heli in that way. So yeah, I'm not really too concerned about leaking then. I can just um go for my Benjamin round two without going for my blade shooter. And I'll just tank some leaks here. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal, guys. We'll get him down. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And we'll continue on with our eco. And hopefully get our blade shoot done pretty soon. And looks like they're going normal Benjamin here. Okay. I'm going DJ Benjamin. He's going normal Benjamin. I don't honestly know if DJ Benjamin's a move with the strategy. The plus damage from the ability actually helps out textures quite a bit. So that's what I was thinking. But um, the more money might be more beneficial here since I'm just going eco. But who knows? You could make an argument for both. You could definitely make an argument for both. Looks like they might actually want straight up eco though here. I wonder if they're going, because, I don't know, I feel like they would have placed a farm by now, right? So they could just be going straight up an eco strategy. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. That could be interesting. Eco versus eco here. That could make for a really interesting game. Because if they have, like, Dartling, um, Village Super, something like that, that would be a hard matchup, because that's a really good late game strategy as well. So that'd be, like, late game versus late game. But I'm going to go for another tax shooter right around here. Once I can fit it in there. Come on, fit in there. Let's go. Let's go. All right, we got it. We got it. This will be my ring of fire spot. So I want the blade shooter and the ring of fire because the blade shooter will pop the purple layer and then the ring of fire will deal with everything else, obviously. And yeah, that's kind of like the plan right there. And by the way, guys, if you do enjoy today's video any point whatsoever, please hit the like button down below. I'd really appreciate that. And hit the subscribe button as well. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers this year. So big goal, but I believe in us. I believe in us. And yeah, this guy definitely does not have farms because they would have placed one by now. So it's going to be eco versus eco here. It is going to be eco versus eco here. 
And I have leaked down to 103, but once again, I don't really care too much about leaks. I don't think it's going to matter at the end of the day. I do not think it's going to matter. Let's get the even more tax, though. Because, yeah. Well, I don't even have the faster firing on this upgrade. That's why I've been leaking. I d didn't even realize I don't have the... Okay, well, I'm not going to get at this point if I don't need it, but... Yeah, that's why I've been leaking so much. I was, like, wondering, like, normally I don't leak this much with TAC, but that makes sense then. That makes total sense. I use balloon boosting at me? Okay. That's kind of a waste of a balloon boost, in my opinion. Like, I don't know. Just balloon boosting black. Why is he laughing at me? What? I'm going to rejuvenate lives with Benjamin, man. I don't know why they're laughing at me. Okay. Which we'll continue going along? Continue getting our eco up. The one thing I do think that's good for me here is he's been sending me like a lot of spaced eco this game, believe it or not. And obviously, spaced eco, you're not going to get eco up as fast as grouped eco. Well, I've been only sending grouped eco, so I think we're going to have a pretty solid eco lead coming into these mid game rounds, which is obviously nice because it kind of compounds, right? An eco lead early allows you to eco more mid game, and then that mid game eco allows you to eco even more later game, and it kind of snowballs. It snowballs. We'll keep eco though. I think I can max eco through this round and then still send a little bit of group eco next round and be fine. Well, actually, no. I think we'll just end our group eco at the end of this round. But look at this. Over 1,000 eco in round 8, guys. Over 1,000 eco in round 8. That's fantastic right there. That is absolutely fantastic. All right. Now we'll just start space decoing. Because I need to save for this ring of fire on round... Um, all right. So use the DJ Benjamin ability. Beautiful. And I can use that in a second. Do I need to boost that, really? That's kind of unfortunate. I can't believe I needed to boost that. I don't actually know if I needed to boost. I could have actually just gone and done like another attack shooter or something. Yeah, that's probably what I should have done. It's all good. It's all good. Definitely misplayed that a little bit. I'm not going to cap right there. Can I fit a attack shooter right here? I swear I saw it. Yeah, I can. Okay, cool, cool. It's exactly what I wanted with the placement. Get radar scanner right here. Nice. And we'll actually get this to a uh, monkey business and monkey commerce. We'll get that to monkey town as well. Once I can afford it. Hopefully that's pretty soon. There we go. Monkey town is up. So he definitely has the eco lead now. Because they have been grouped ecoing. But the thing is I've rushed my monkey town. So I'll be getting more efficient eco now. Which I think it might not see better at the moment. Can I fit that? I just want to fit it and pre-place it basically. There we go. Awesome. It is now pre-placed boys. It is now pre-placed. Don't, don't need to worry. And then we'll get this monkey city here pretty soon. Do they have village? They have not shown it yet. So I don't know if they have village here. I'd assume they have Dartling village super, but I guess it could be anything else as well. Oh, they have sniper. Old eco, okay. Dartling sniper ninja, maybe? Interesting. That'd be interesting if it's that, because I haven't seen a strategy in a long time. That used, to, that used to be a meta strategy back in the day. Back in my day, boys, that used to be the meta strategy, but, you know... We'll see how it works out for them. Let's get this monkey city here pretty soon, though. I think one more income boost or so, and we'll get it up. Yes, sir. Round 16, monkey city. That's actually really early. That's really good. That is really, really good right there. And we'll start ecoing a little bit with pink balloons as well. Just getting up our eco really fast now that we have the monkey city. We don't need to save up for anything, really. And we should be able to get a really good eco this game, especially due to the fact that they're not anti-stalling yet. However, they have snipers, so once they build up like a lot of sniper farms, the sniper farms will actually probably start to anti-stall a little bit. Which will be a bit unfortunate for us here, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I just want to get a super high eco, because I'm pretty sure I'll last any sniper strategy they have. Even if they have like super monkey, I'll probably outlast it. Come on, fit. There we go. Beautiful. Now we got up our overdrive. So we'll be good against a um, Moab if they do send that. And we'll continue ecoing. Continue ecoing up a storm. We can actually send them some purple balloons. This might actually like scare them a little bit too. I'm just going to send these for like eco most of the point, but this could scare them a little bit. No, they actually have an elite sniper. I just realized that. So the elite sniper is going to clear those out pretty easily. Never mind. Never mind. Elite sniper OP, bro. Okay, if he sends me a fortified Moab, I just get up a um, embrittlement right here. We'll see about that. Does not look like he's sending me. Okay. We're actually going to go for a village right around here. Yeah. And this is going to be a um, 
primary training village and primary like mentoring and stuff because I want to get that down just to upgrade all make all my attacks stronger and give me some free upgrades as well you want to get down as soon as possible just to give you, save you some money over the long run because of all the free upgrades we'll get with it which obviously helps out primary training but yeah right now I'm doing some mixed eco with pinks and um purples just to maximize my eco output right now which I think is very important I just want to maximize how much eco I'm getting very very good 3,500 I have so far. That's pretty solid. I do want to make sure I have some money saved up though for a ZMG rush. So I'm actually going to stop my maxed eco train right now and um start saving up some money in case he ZMGs me. It looks like they're going to BFB me actually. Okay. BFB I'm not as scared of. Actually I can just, I can just do that. We should be fine against that. Yeah, we're good. Just using the DJ Benjamin's ability right there, boys. You saw that. DJ Benjamin ability helps out a ton. Ooh, I know what I'll do. This is actually kind of smart. This is a big brain play, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go for a Arctic Wind up here. And the reason behind this is this will help stall the rounds. It's not going to pop all the balloons, but it's going to slow down balloons. And that's really what matters because I'm going to pop the, these AI balloons are going to take longer to come around. So it, I'll pop them later, which means the rounds are going to be stalled a little bit, which helps me out because I have an eco, since I have a probably a better late game strategy than them. So if we just can just get a really solid eco here, we'll be solid. Yeah, that's definitely going to help me out. Okay, he's sending me some a ZMG here. Let's actually spam some tax shooters up in this place. We're actually good there. Okay, that was actually really easy to defend. Oh, it wasn't fortified. That's why I forgot about that. It was not fortified, which definitely makes sense why that was easy to defend. All right, continue egoing with purples a little bit. I think I'll go to like, obviously I don't want to equal with purples the entire time, but I want to get a good amount. Yeah, I'm actually going to sell this village, replace the monkey city down here. Okay, let's um, get camel detection on that real quick. Sorry, I almost died there. Because I want to get a, um, I should have done this earlier. I want to get a monkey intelligence bureau in, fr in the range of all this, since this is going to be my DDT defense as well. That was kind of a misplay on my part by getting a monkey town there instead of a monkey town bureau. I'm not going to cap. I should have been better there. Come on, fit. I know you can fit. There it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's exactly what we need. And I can get my tax zone here in a little bit with the tax zone. We're pretty solid against DT rushes, I think. Okay, we got our tax zone up. Awesome. Might as well get another... Um, might as well get another embrittlement up, though, just in case he does DT me, just so I make sure everything's embrittled. That's very important there, so we'll do that up. We'll do that real quick. 7,000 eco. Actually, now I should probably just switch to pink eco for the rest of the game. Because 7,000 is very, very good here, so... And start spamming some tax. Well, actually, before I spam more tax, I think I want to go for primary expertise, because that actually gives me more free upgrades, so that'll save me money as well in the long run. Getting that up. Dude, there's so many tax shooters down right now. All of these are going to be overdrives as well. At the end of the day, you just want to spam them all overdrives because that's the best um, MOA popping power tower. And you need those for BADs. Plus, with like all the pierce buffs you have with the village and stuff, it actually is pretty decent against insides too. We'll be pretty dang solid. I also want to go for a um, super brittle here when I can. Super brittle is going to be very important. We can sell the second embrittlement. Now we're getting a super brittle up. Ooh, what I can do, I'm, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go for a icicles probably right there as well. Yeah. We're we'll for an icicles right here. When on Icicle is a um, Icicle Impale, that's going to be important. How many sniper farms does he have? He has a lot of sniper farms, and they have a really solid eco. So they, they're setting themselves up pretty solid for the game as well. Again, I don't know what their last tower... Oh, there it is, Ninja Oka. Yeah, I definitely think I win this, in all honesty. Like, it's it's a decent late game strategy, but still, it's not it's nothing in comparison to um what I have going on. We're going to another Monkey Intelligence Bureau right here, though, just so I can get the... um. Enhanced freeze cross path on my impale to make it shoot faster. Basically, nine thousand eco right now. We're actually really solid on the eco. Now, what some of you guys might be saying, why are you placing overdrives over here? It's not even hitting the, the track. Well, the thing is, the BADs have a really big hitbox. So even though those ones are not hitting the track directly, it'll still hit BADs. If that makes sense. I want to place some embrittlements over here though, just to make sure everything's embrittled before, even before my super brittle hits them. I'll right, start so spamming some tax shooters over here as well, because why not? I can also do this. Where I place an ice tower right here. With, and I'll get snowstorm, larger radius. And now I can place ice um, tax shooters on the water. Look at that, boys. 
Look at that 2,000 IQ play right there. 2,000 IQ plays coming in from Ryan Mahalik. And this will be a Monkey to Challenge Bureau. All right, we'll keep spamming these. I have 10,000 eco right now as well. Look at that, so much eco. We're doing really good. And we'll just keep spamming tax shooters. We'll just keep spamming them. I can also fit some, oh, I can fit some on the water over here. I forgot about that. Let's do that. We'll get a primary uh, mentoring village right here. Snowstorm. There we go. Fit four tax shooters right here. Look at this. I do have 200 lives now, by the way, boys. I have the over 150 lives. I forgot about that because, again, DJ Benjamin re rejuvenates your life count. So we're good there. This is going to be a crazy late game, guys. I kind of want to see if I can defend a rush. They can send me so many BDs, though, is the thing. They'll be able to send me so many. Anything else I can do? I guess I go for the, um, does it, is it worth going for a Super Maelstrom over one of these? I don't even know if Super Maelstrom is even worth with the, with the Super Brittle and stuff. We'll, we'll do it though. And I guess I'll go for a, um, Inferno Ring as well. Right over here. Just to have it down. Really. I guess the Inferno Ring can help in the back if, if any Ceramics come by. That will help out actually a lot against Ceramics. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have an area to micro a, um, home end defense. Okay. I think our defense is set up pretty well. Let's actually make sure everything's primary mentored that I can. We'll actually stop equaling right there. We'll stop equaling right there. Yeah, I think we're in a solid spot right here. I think we're in a pretty solid spot. All right, 12,785 eco right now. That is kind of nuts. I guess I'll catch y'all whenever the everything goes down, boys. Whenever the rushes are sent. Okay, guys, he's rushing me. I'm gonna rush him back. Uh, I only can send four though. They actually might actually be able to fend four. He's going to rush me with a lot, though. Okay. That's, um... Let's wait a little bit on our boost. They might defend our four. That's not a very big rush. We'll boost in home, then. We'll use the Super Maelstrom. We'll use that ability. Okay, we, shred we shredded. They're in ZOMG form now. I think they're Icicle Impaled. I need to micro my homeland, though. Homeland, that again. Come on. Oh, we're sinking. I was defending. I was defending, dude. I popped all the bads. And I had everything Icicle Impaled. Please come back. 2,000 years later. It's back. Oh, uh, come on, come on. I was literally eating a bagel. Oh. Hello. You can see on my screen all the bads were popped, dude. And their icicle impaled. I would have defended, dude. Bro, come on. Nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That would have been a crazy defend. We already defended most of it, to be honest. But yeah, if you did enjoy it, please hit the like button, subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, rhyme like out. Peace. <laughs>